Hello everybody and welcome to another video brought to you by FAF aka Fans Against Anti-Fans. Well today I received an email in my YouTube inbox that caught me a little off guard. Someone sent me a message and said, I know you're trying to deliver the news and that's great, but you need to know the facts before you start recording. Did you know the lawsuit between SM Entertainment and TVXQ? Well, no I did not, but here's my opinion on that. Yes, SM Entertainment has been under fire in the past, but those ended up being rumors. And here's another thought I have. Do you think uh, stars like Boa, Super Junior, and all the other would stay with SM if that's the way they ran their business? This person was saying that they ran their business as unfair contracts. Some stars got more money than others. I do not believe that Mr. Lee Su Man would run his business like this and I don't think Boa would stay with a company for nine years if that's the way they ran their business. It just does not make sense. So I think this is just another story blown out of proportion by anti-fans so they can get more publicity and I I do not like it so I want you to look at me very closely anti-fans look into the center of your monitor uh, as I say this back off you aren't gonna get rid of us you aren't gonna get rid of the fans because we're stronger than the anti-fans will ever be. And I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. Because I don't believe that Lee Su Man would run his business like this. Now I'm not saying that it might not be true. I hope that it's not. But I'm saying that anti-fans create all of these stories just to get under our skin just to make us angry and I'm going to stand up for this company SM Entertainment yes I know in the past they've done maybe some weird things but as I said before I don't think Boa or Super Junior would have stayed with the company if they run business like this and the person also said well they may be stuck under contract well you're never stuck under contract. There are ways to get out of your contract if you don't like the company. I mean, I don't think SM is like this. I mean, and then this person went on about 2NE1 and, and YG Entertainment and said they're not very good either. I mean, are you freaking kidding me? I mean, I think that they're just another story blown out of proportion like at this before for anti-fans to be happy because they want these singers to go away. We at Boshi News try to deliver the best news possible and if we think SM is a great company that's our, our opinion and you have the right to your own opinion anti-fans but I do not believe this lawsuit between uh, TVXQ and SM Entertainment because if it was true, the company probably would be shut down. I mean, and like I said before, I don't think Boa would have stayed with the company for almost nine years of her life. She she had been there since she was freaking 13, okay? So I don't think that she would be with the company and say in interviews that the company is a great company to work for. I mean, many SM artists have said that. It is a family. They are a great company to work for. And I would be honored to even work for them someday. Maybe as a manager, maybe as a talent scout. I don't know, but I would be honored to work for Mr. Lee Su Man and FM Entertainment or YG Entertainment. I don't care which company I work for. I just want to help the music industry in Korea and Japan. 
Um, I am forever tied with SM Entertainment, spiritually, because we were both born on the same day. SM Entertainment was founded on February 14th, 1985, which is the same day yours truly was born. So, I appreciate the person sending me the message, but I refuse to believe the lawsuit unless you can send me conclusive evidence that the lawsuit is true. And I'll say this one more time, I don't think BOA or Super Junior would stay with a company that ran business like that. I mean, if they paid one star more than another, I think somebody would leave. I mean, I've heard of artists leaving on their own will, so I don't believe it. So uh, that's just my opinion, and I appreciate your opinion. You know who you are, the person who sent me the letter. I appreciate your opinion, and I know we have different opinions on this subject, but I appreciate you uh, sending me that letter, but I think it's just another rumored story by anti-fans so they can get more publicity. Well, that's going to do it for me today. I just wanted to talk to you guys about that, so I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching.